Horses mean a lot to me. It's the best escape in the world. I mean, you have a hard day, you come home, you get on your horse, the whole world disappears. And then all this wonderful nature just seeps around you. And, and, and there's just, there's no way to beat it. There's just nothing like it. But anybody that's looking at the property that's a horse person probably understands this because the relationship between humans and horses is just the best. But it's a total getaway. You, there's no way you can think about anything else when you're on a horse except being on the horse. And then you take a look around at the cottonwood trees and Truchas Peak is over there. and It really is a throwback to another century. And that's the value of living here. And that's the fun of it. The house is authentic. It's 200 years old. You know, it's a double adobe. It's been here. It's one of the more authentic properties in northern New Mexico. And there's two, two guest houses. You can rent them. We rent them. It basically pays our mortgage. The rents are substantial. And it's just a great way to live. You know, just the, the tenants are quality and the place is great. It's 20 minutes from the Santa Fe Plaza. So it's a great lifestyle. And if somebody wants to move out of an urban existence like we did and have all of this beautiful land and horses and you know cowboys and Indians, this is the spot. We walked to this point. We hadn't seen the house yet. We looked at the barrancas. We understood that this is all Indian land, it'll never be developed, and you can ride to the Rio Grande, I mean, literally. And down there is the Pauake River. It's a very, very short walk or horseback ride, and it flows year-round. And we'll come and watch the sunset up here. It's a great way to end the day. But this is when we bought the land. We just kind of looked at the barrancas and understood the value of this kind of privacy in a modern world. Now, we're 20 minutes from the plaza. I mean, the Santa Fe Plaza, so it's not a hardship to go to town to go to dinner or do your chores or whatever, and then you come home to all of this. Um, and there's the Cottonwood Bosque, and you know, we love it, and we hope whoever gets it loves it just as much as we have. This is our dining room. It has this great atrium, which lets in a tremendous amount of light, and also uh, in the winter, it lets in sunlight for heat. Behind me is a mural by a very famous Native American muralist, Marcellus Medina. He did the diorama at the Poe Museum here in Powake, where it's, it's where Roxanne Swenzel's gallery is as well. And it's the Zia Pueblo creation myth. It was done for the house, it will stay with the house uh, because it was done for that particular space. This is our living space, essentially. It contains this kitchen and behind me a living area uh, with a shepherd's fireplace, which is spectacular all winter long. Um, the tiles are from Mexico, we put them in. The configuration of this island uh, was done by Christy Brinkley when she owned the place, and it's architecturally really quite nice. There are three sinks in this kitchen, so if you're into parties, that will be easy. There's a six burner wolf range, and a sub-zero refrigerator, I mean, a Gen Air oven, it has kind of all the amenities. And uh, it becomes the center of attention when you have a party. People just congregate in here. Um, this is our living room. This part of the house, including the guest bedroom, is 200 years old. This is the original part of the house. This is the original Vegas. Uh, they're just, you know, we think spectacular. There's six fireplaces in the house. The one behind us uh, heats this room, and there's, there's heat in the room, but that, that has a ventilator. It will absolutely heat this whole area. And when you have a party, you can't beat it. I mean, we've had 50 people in here, and it's, you know, you get to look out, and there's the tennis court and the trees, and, you know, these hardwood floors are just spectacular. And it's just a great place to socialize and hang out. I use this room as my office. I work from home. Uh, again, it has huge old vigas and wood floors. The Kiva fireplace behind me works. There are six fireplaces in this house. They all work great. Um, this is our bedroom. This is the master bedroom. This has a fireplace. It works. We use it. It's a wonderful master bedroom. These doors lead right out to the pool and the tennis court and the adobe walled in, it's about two acres backyard. Oh, this is a two-person bathtub. The fireplace in here works. There's nothing like getting in a hot bath and making a fire. And we have a great view out here, out to the courtyard, which is just spectacular. But this is a lot of fun after a hard day of swimming, riding, and playing tennis. Connie uses this room as her office and her, her uh, painting studio. Uh, her sculpting studio is 
out there, which we'll go to in a minute. Uh, but this is a lovely room. It gets great sunlight, and if one wanted to use it as a bedroom, one certainly could. But it, right now it's being used as an office painting studio, and it's just one of the best rooms in the house. Um, this was a three-car garage. It is now kind of a, a sculptor studio. Um, this has been completely redone as a space. It has heat and insulation and skylights that we put in, along with these French doors. So it's a great space if somebody wants to shop and if they want to park their cars, there's room for three of them.